Um, more examples of radiation is you could have a nuclear power station and it could blow up. Hello and welcome to Kaku's documentary on radiation. Today I'm going to be explaining what alpha, beta and gamma radiation is. So, before I, uh, before I do, here, Alex, this Alex is going to be alpha. Alpha is a helium nucleus. It contains two protons and two neutrons. But, unlike a helium, no electrons. So, in fact, a helium nucleus. Alpha is strongly ionising and slow, and can be stopped by paper. Alex is now going to demonstrate this. As you can see, stopped by paper. Now, imagine Alex is now beta. Beta is an electron. Beta is quite fast and quite ionising and can be stopped by foil. Now, this is where you're going to have to imagine that this is a piece of foil. So slightly faster, but still stopped. Now, gamma is slightly different. Gamma is made of waves. Gamma is fast, not very ionising, and has to be stopped by lead. We haven't got any lead. So, we're going to show you what happens when gamma goes through paper, when gamma reaches paper. Yes, as you can see, straight through the paper. Thank you very much. We'll now move on to the next section of Kaku's boy a dog and i'm with the j dog over here we in the his house anyway we gonna be speaking to you about the background radiation so tell me about this background radiation well a dog background radiation really happens everywhere and anywhere um you get it from all sorts of things mobile phones x-rays uh human rays bananas carrots sun moon high rocks, water, everything. There's radiation in pretty much everything. But the thing is, it's how much radiation you take in that matters. Because you can take in some radiation and not be harmed, but if you take in a lot over a regular period of time, it will start to cause you damage. Yep. So, e dog, how do people keep safe whilst they are dealing with these radioactive materials? Well, you see, you got the radioactive sources, and it depends how much exposure you have. You see, if you have keep exposure to a minimum, the radiation that you receive and how much you're affected is not going to be very high, and you actually won't be very much affected at all. So what else, and so if what you else make skin do? contact with the radioactive source, then it's going to definitely affect you. So you want to avoid that at all times. You want to be wearing like hazmat suits. And then you have... What are these suits made out of? Is it, I heard it's some sort of lead. It's lead, isn't it? It's, yeah, it's a lead suit because you see alpha and beta, they can travel through paper and foil, but then you see gamma is a really fast one and it can only be stopped by lead. Okay, so uh, moving on, what else safety precautions do people do to keep safe from radiation? Because uh, you need said that you weren't meant to look at it as well, you know, keep eye contact down to a minimum, and you should always store it in safe lead containers. And keep it at arm's length. Yes, okay, well, thank you very much, uh, Alex Bonretsu. It's been your boy A-Dog and the J-Dog in the house. Peace. We'll see you next time. Yo, what's up, it's your boy A-Dog, and I'm with the J-Dog up in his house. Let's talk about some Half-Life, boy. What's Half-Life? Half-Life is when the counts per second is reduced by half. But different, uh, different sources have different amounts of Half-Life. Yeah, like uranium is more Half-Life than a banana. 
Woo! Now, let's move on. Alpha decay. What is it, Alex? It's when a uh, substance is decayed by alpha uh, radiation. This is happens because it's got a helium nucleus. So, say if we got uranium and it's alpha decay, it becomes thorium. Yeah. What about beta decay? What happens? It's when a uh, uh, particle, it has an electron, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it, it's uh, decayed by an electron, you take away. Six and a half hours later. <laughs> this has been your way, dog. With the J dog. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs>